What is up my viewers? Time again for a World of Tanks gameplay commentary. This is going to be a replay submission from Never Aim, the leg the longtime viewer, the legend himself. He is driving his STB1. He says this is going to be a very good match and he is usually right about that. So let us see, but he is in the F-15 clan and it is an F-15 platoon of very good players. Looks like player skill on both teams is actually quite exceptional. That Phantom Division guy on the enemy team with a 97 out of 100. He is... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's Super Unicum, but let, let us look a little bit more closely. Yeah, okay, 28k battles. So, probably not a reroll, or if he is, he rerolled some long time ago. Still, definitely having quite a bit of battles on that account, earning that WN8 rating of 97 out of 100. What that actually translates to is probably like 29, 30, uh, 2900, 3000, something of the sort. Uh, you'd have to actually check out Solo's mod pack to see what exactly that translates into. But it is based on WN8. I know there were some questions about that earlier on. However, let's get back to the match at hand here. So it is standard battle on Fjords, the only battle type on Fjords, as is the case in many, many maps. I know a lot of players don't really like to play Encounter or Assault. I personally, uh, I play them just to get a better idea of how to play each map differently. I noticed that, ooh, 215, nope, 268 getting the kill in that Yogg Panther 2. The enemy team certainly not off to a good start. And right here, Definitely the hit points and tank. Of course, that's going to happen when you lose a tank like that. Uh, enemy bat chat spotted up north. It is that Unicum player and apparently never aim saying good game, Yogg Panther. Just a little adding a little bit, bit of insult injury. Maybe I, I know I'd be personally upset if someone said that to me had I been that Yogg Panther. <laughs> Just saying this enemy bat chat certainly a high threat priority right here. looks like never aim might be able to get a shot off and he was aiming for the track there even though it was a snapshot and he has six cents he knows full well that he has spotted his ally 268 looking like he's gonna push up on this and hopefully not get spotted so quickly never aim thinking he's been unspotted at this point and it looks like he is right enemy bat chat coming up and taking a shot what's going on with the lag here i do not know uh but please just bear with it as it works through it so far the match, the teams looking still quite even. A tier 8 loss and a tier 10 match where both teams are even on tier 10s. And fairly even in player skill too as well. This T57 Heavy may be getting a shot for damage. No, the turret on the T57 Heavy. Definitely known for being a bit of a troll. Definitely can be penetrated, but the question is whether or not you will penetrate it. This, type, uh, this T49 will take a shot for damage and maybe get a shot off for damage before he actually dies. Nope looking like he's gonna back off he wants to live to fight another day the enemy team having a very solid strong presence in the north uh not so much in the south but never aims team sent nothing to the south whatsoever the already calling attention to it saying defend the base as he very well should this enemy team definitely very strong in the middle and the north but mostly i mean let's be honest mostly tier 8 vehicles are in the center there so his team could probably push up on them without too much difficulty however the moment they do that is the moment the bat chats the faster moving vehicles in the north circle down and around on them to get that flank and his team is just would be caught in a terrible spot where they're about to get overrun and right here the enemy team in the north looking like they're saying whatever we aren't waiting for that anyway we're just gonna push so those bat chats definitely running in together there um i don't know they're okay one bat chat just died enemy i mean friendly e75 getting kill on that and the enemy team looking to try and take the capture as the north push actually t goes in progress the 215 getting taken out by the enemy bat chat that blue i mean purple player sorry blue uh so one of never aims teammates definitely getting taken out there very quickly doing his very best to reset and abuse the turret armor his tank has uh, that looked like a high explosive round yes that was a high explosive round if you take a look next to the tank um little icon there in the lower left i do have a mod that tells you what shells are being shot at you and never aim being ever so vigilant to watch his backside just making sure that enemy team isn't getting too uncomfortably close this e75 gonna take some damage as this 121 runs away and ricochets a shot saving his life and the e75 will get annihilated right here but never aim's team still in a bad spot about 2,000 hit points difference and a three it was a three tank still a three tank difference here this is just an all-out slugfest between teams but 
the enemy team certainly has a strong hit point advantage right now still and they still have a strong tank advantage as well so overall at the end of the day and it well allied 1375 going after that already in the base but the north is certainly the place where the enemy team is strong they're trying to take this base trying to overrun what enemy vehicles are here which are most of them i mean let's face facts never aims team actually did you know come together pretty well and try and rally getting that track shot but he has no allies to take advantage of that he just gets the shot off and then has to ooh, this batch out looking like he's reloading definitely uh one of those situations where he is just trying to blaze right past them nope he is reloaded he was just trying to wait for better shots although the stb1 not necessarily known for its frontal armor but it does get destroyed by that allied is3 another kill enemy is3 and the hit point difference is now swinging into the favor of Neverings team they did good, they really did a good job of regrouping on base and rallying and this t57 heavy certainly a threat but never aim can definitely take a shot from it for damage Ooh, maybe not 50b and 57 definitely has to back up and reassess the situation here the 57 charging forward in a very unwise fashion this 50b is certainly the largest threat at the moment and this is still anyone's match hit points um certainly still favoring the enemy team and tank difference still favoring the enemy team so that 50b definitely the biggest threat and, and this tiger 2 is more than enough to finish off never aim but he will get a shot off for no damage taken which he really cannot afford to take any damage whatsoever that 50b if you take note is firing apcr and so he definitely wants to win this match he's putting a lot of investment into it but he's getting held up by an is3 an IS-3 that he could absolutely annihilate while his Tiger 2 ally pushes on never aim here. Definitely these players living up to their skill levels. And, you know, both this IS-3 is... A, he's a green player. He's a good player. I mean, what's his rating? 56 out of 100. That's actually pretty good. Uh, better than a lot of players in this game. Tiger 2 taking a shot and will get eliminated. This IS-3 trying to bait a shot from the 50B, which he does successfully. And the 50B backing off. Maybe trying to lure never aim into a false sense of security when he still in fact has a few shots in the drum uh the is3 knowing he has more than enough hit points to take a few but the 50b not firing anything never aim making sure to, that it is the case that he is reloading and it looks like they will collapse on him for a double hit here it's gonna be this good old ooh a miss I, i've been in that situation that's never fun we'll never aim try and come down on him nope he's just gonna aim down instead rather than try and get the ram kill very wisely does so and all the enemy team has left is a 212a now the question is will that 212a be a man about it and try and make a last stand on the base get some final damage off and go tv mode or will he drown himself what kind of player is he the 121 saying to jump into the sea the 212a actually come coming up right there and i'm guessing he was talking oh my goodness just he might have been typing and that would have that was just a poor time to take up the game chat i'm i'm gonna say never aim doing a very good job for himself over 7400 hit points of damage dealt even for a tier 10 that is mighty impressive but let's go to those post game stats and see just how well he did <laughs> All right, and here we go. He called this something something bot Tiger 2. Uh, I guess the Tiger the Tiger 2 was not the best player. Let's be frank about that. Whether or not he was a bot, I'm not so sure, but he certainly did not take advantage of the hit points and armor he had to eliminate a very low health, a very vulnerable STB1. Earning himself Mastery Badge Ace Tanker, which is always nice, and High Caliber, not always so easy in Tier 10 matches, but it's definitely a lot easier when there are some Tier 9s and 8s to uh, lower that hit point requirement. Top Gun, of course, because he did get 7 kills and over 7,400 hit points of damage, absolutely decimating that enemy team, topping his team in both experience and damage dealt the closest person being his ally, his platoon mate, that 268 with 2,700 uh, the 121 not doing too bad for himself, but uh, the rest of his team kind of sucking it up. Let's be honest. That enemy bat chat certainly living up to his stat line, being the top for performer on his losing team. That 50B also not doing too shabby for himself. And uh, everyone else on their team kind of did fall short. That Yawk Panther 2 just getting a bad luck of the draw. Maybe he shouldn't have been driving on the front lines, trying to blitz the center as he did. Definitely did not pay off for him in the end. Still, 
earning a respectable blah, 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 earning a respectable amount of credits for a tier 10 vehicle and overall just very impressive 28 shots fired 22 of those being penetrations and 24 being direct hits i know i said that a little bit backwards but still uh, just a lot of damage thrown out of that gun and always in the fight definitely just showing the advantages of sometimes you know regrouping uh regroup uh, i cannot talk this video holy just oh my goodness but anyway pushing forward just showing the value of regrouping and falling back to defend a very vulnerable position and his team definitely looking like they're gonna lose there for a while and certainly would have done so if not for never aim in his platoon sure his third platoon may kind of got overrun and taken out early on in the match but the 268 and never aim together certainly being the MVPs and helping their team towards a very unlikely victory However, definitely, oh, downloaded 11 times. One of those was me. So other people apparently finding this game worth downloading. Not that I blame them. Very well played. But remember, if you like this video, click that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you got a replay, check the description below for instructions on how to submit it. And if you got suggestions on how I can improve my channel, make my videos better, definitely comment section below. But until next time, this has been Sabang, and I am signing off. MLG. Oh, oh, oh.